Good day, ladies and gentlemen. As I open this August occasion, let me take this opportunity to welcome you all for having locked on to the virtual inauguration of our 2020-2021 SRC. As you may imagine, this is not just another day in the life of this great university. But it is an August occasion where we give effect to the provisions of the Higher Education Act 101 uh, uh, 1997 as amended that there shall be an SRC in response to the provision for cooperative governance within the higher education sector. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and I wish you well during this virtual ceremony. We will now proceed to have messages of support, starting with our Vice Chancellor and Principal, Professor Tandom Tembu, for his keynote address, to be followed by the outgoing 2019-2020 SRC President, Mr. <clears throat> Jabulo Sangweni, and finally to be followed by the incoming 2020-2021 SRC President, Mr. Zabelo Ntuli. On this special occasion of the inauguration of our SRC 2020-21, I would like to propose that we are at a crossroads of identity and institutional culture at our universities in this country and elsewhere. We need different upended and transformed leadership. I take this opportunity to congratulate all of you, our SRC 2020-21, for having been elected as leaders of our over 30,000 students across all our seven campuses in Durban and Peter Maritzburg. With about 38% of the student body from all walks of life and social affiliations having voted for you, as opposed to previous voter turnouts in the region of 20%, this is a much higher expression, expression of a vote of confidence in you as a collective of student leaders. Though it's been devastating to all of us, thanks to COVID-19 for having forced us into an online voting system, we could not have achieved this higher level of voter confidence without the online system. But what does this vote of confidence really mean? What shall your individual and collective contributions be to the plethora of challenges our country, our institutions, and our people face, especially young people? What legacy will you leave when your term of office ends? Would you not like to be that SRC that ushered in a turning point in student leadership, not only here at DUT, but elsewhere around the country and the world? The confidence the student body put in you as a collective not as EFFSC, not as SASCO, not as this or that, is an important reminder that you are in office to serve not just the group from your social affiliation, but the entire student body in all its persuasions. Contrary to what has become common in political circles, your election is certainly not for self-aggrandizement and for being lined up for corrupt benefits. Let me talk about identity and culture at a university. DUT is a university. Like all universities across the world, it has a unique institutional identity and culture, which are predicated on the search for truth through facts and evidence, reason and debate. It's not a political organization where facts and evidence often recede when so-called political solutions are sought. Facts and evidence, reason and debate, do not emanate from democratic processes like the representative democracy the SRC elections are about. Decisions at a university are not taken on the basis of the force of numbers that voted for you, for example, but the force of facts and evidence, reason and debate. Thus, when we do not seem to agree on this or that, remember where you are. You are at a university. You are not in your township. You're not in your church. You're not in your village. You're not in your political organization. You are at a university with its unique identity and culture whose disappearance would spell the death of this university. As enshrined in our constitution, academic freedom is an important feature of a university's institutional identity and culture. 
In a university, it cannot be that when a group of students does not wish to attend classes, then by sheer force and violence, all of them are prevented from attending lectures. As a university, we exist as the light that should irradiate throughout our society and actually advance it. We are not fascists. We are not arsonists. We are not into gender-based violence and all other forms of violence. We are not a breeding nest for criminality. Being a member of the SRC has the potential to cultivate, to sculpt and nurture tomorrow's leaders of society. Indeed, if you allow that potential to be nurtured, it could catapult any one of you into graduates and leaders we aspire to produce for society leaders that leave societal values and principles, leaders that are innovative and entrepreneurial, leaders that are adaptive, leaders that respond to challenges of society with agility, urgency, and that equally influence change as contexts and situations in society may require. Through Envision 2030, our new strategy, we have committed ourselves to contributing towards improving the lives and the livelihoods of our people, including the broader society. We do not exist for our own sake. How will you, as adaptive SRC leaders, respond with agility to this call to improve the lives and the livelihoods of our people? We exist in order to engage generatively and deliberately in search of lasting solutions for the ailing national economy and our very troubled society. DUT seeks to become an engaged university, an anchor university that influences and transforms societies and their economies amongst others. This will, this we will do through our innovative curricula and research, through our innovations and our entrepreneurial flair, through our efficient systems and processes we will design. All this for the betterment of our people. Without people, the right ones, who are potent sources for progressive action, we could not achieve much in this world. Your coming into office coincides with a number of epoch-making developments at DUT. In short, your rise to leadership happens when DUT has been accelerating the pedal for a different, upended, and transformed DUT. This DUT is on a rocket to a coveted destination of greatness. I'm certain you've been reading about many great feats DUT continues to achieve, many unthinkable only a few years ago. These developments create challenges for you, I must admit. You have a choice to fit in and become part of DUT's glorious rise that will certainly be enshrined in tombs of history you could also choose to become part of the forces of inertia, forces of destruction, arson, criminality that are averse to change and greatness. That too will be enshrined in our tombs of history. It is for the reasons above that we emphasize the importance of DUT people leaving our values and principles. We recognize that as much as there is leadership for development, there is also leadership for chaos, retrogression, corruption, and even gangsterism. That is not the legacy you wish to leave behind, I hope. Leadership for good competes with leadership for bad all the time. You have a choice of these two extremes in a leadership continuum. The values and principles in our Vision 2030 give you only one choice, in my view, the choice of respect, of honesty, of accountability, of professionalism, commitment, and of excellence, just to mention a few of these. The major duty of a young person and a university student and leader especially is to read and read and read. At least that is what one of your favorite revolutionaries, Vladimir Lenin, once punted. At 21 years of age, Lenin and his law degree. He was not a street revolutionary, but an intellectual revolutionary. As noted above, a university is a place of reason and debate, facts and evidence. 
And the search for truth and for reason requires a desire and the necessary skills, intellectual and otherwise, and experience to pursue facts, evidence, and truth. I challenge you to read as widely as you can beyond your own narrow political and other persuasions and without, of course, necessarily putting your own formal studies at risk. Unfortunately, you cannot be a leader in an academic setting and continue to behave like everyone else. You have to lead intellectually and otherwise from the front and not be led from the back by forces of evil, chaos, and destruction. We expect to see much superior logic and reason from yourselves as university students and leaders. Distinct from leadership at high schools, distinct from leadership at other educational institutions and organs of society, we expect nothing but superior logic, reason, and excellence. And you'll get that from us, too. I'm hoping that Dr. Pillay and Dr. Ngunane will take you through our Envision 2030 with the assistance of the Institutional Planning Unit. The strategy expatiates our DNA, the values and principles, and the DUT way that will make us uniquely DUT and make us rise like a phoenix from its past. In addition, I have recorded and posted no less than five videos in which I speak about the four perspectives of Envision 2030. Please do watch and listen to these videos as part of your journey. I might just give you a test, actually, uh, on these perspectives at the beginning of the year. If you fail it, I might argue you are no longer fit for purpose at DUT. If you pass it, you may be up for a big prize. Of course, not a tender, nor a backhander from a lease residence, as most SRC members are wont to be involved in. Be part of the DUT rocket to greatness. Be part of a duty that is different, upended, and transformed. Be that SRC whose legacy will be the pursuit of development and greatness at DUT through exhibiting our DNA and living our values and principles. Once again, congratulations to all of you. Enjoy your surgeon in office as the SRC 2020-2021. Thank you very much. Vice Chancellor. Dean of Students, staff members, EFFSC and EFFSC members and Grand Forces, the newly elected SRC led by President Zabelo Nkandamanentuli and students of DUT at large, receive my revolutionary yet humble greeting. And let me start by firstly congratulating the newly elected SRC which won the SRC with huge margin. This is a proof that young people are, are hungry for change, particularly for EFF. The newly elected SRC have huge responsibility ahead. Today we have students who, have, who are expelled by the institution, including the SRC president, Samsanga Memela, who was expelled at, the, at his third level, third level of study. The issues of students still remain the issues till today. We have students who have not received allowances. The incoming SRC should take closer look on the administration of NSFAS and communication between NSFAS and the institution. Today, you are 15 in the structure. It is, responsive. It is your responsibility, all of you, to, to protect each other, but not protect the mediocre. Do not divide, do, don't be divided either by those who lead the institution. The SRC must take, ma, must always take the side of students. Don't try to build the relationships at the expense of students. Even if it means you die for students, let it be, for your conscience shall always remain very clear. The new SRC should fight for corruption by all means necessary. Young people are the future of the country, hence students. Students are vanguard of the struggle. SRC should lead by example. The SRC of the EFFSC must, seen, must be seen by maintaining principles, core values such as commitment and transparency must, must guide you in, in the process. Remember that objective of the EFFSC is to completely overthrow the neocolonialism system which continues to perpetuate the inequality. 
the, exec the execution of the EFFSC mandate is important whenever you are given the position of authority. Let me make an example. We have, a, we have a companies that are owned by foreigners. I mean Chinese and other overseas citizens, yet we have no South African who owns any shop or anything from overseas countries. We wish you all the best your in your responsibilities. May you lead students honestly. Remember that each one of us is worth nothing in the revolution. Hence, the revolution is more important than individuals. Fidel Castro once told us that the revolution is not bed of roses, hence it is a struggle between the future and the past. Aluta continue. Amanda. Amanda. Awe tu. Uh, Vice Chancellor Prof. Mchimbu, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Dean of Students, Staff of Div and University of Technology, all protocol observed. I greet you all. Permit me to send a special greetings to the students of DUT, whom in their majority have chosen to vote EFFSC of the EFF and entrusted us with the position of authority. The leadership of the EFFSC led by the Secretary Sandiso and the Chairperson Bundu. The leadership of the EFF former SRC led by the President Chami Memela who was expelled by the University and Lei Chanjabulo Samuel. Kanye na makli na senyu vesi. Aba sebenza nguzi kandla. Ugu pepi isa ganyi nugu klanza inyu vesi. Yize batola umholo omngane kaku. We at a time where the whole country is fighting the invisible enemy COVID-19. COVID-19 have negatively affected all South Africans, including the students. It has exposed so many other things such as inequality among South African students in which it came in a form of racial inequality where students whom are black Africans are suffering the most compared to the white and Indian students. The lack of willingness to provide leadership and solution by those who are holding the position of authority from government level to the university level was exposed. I'm speaking today all universities have moved from learning, from contact learning to online learning, yet the necessary resources are not given to students. Till today, students have not received their laptops and other relevant learning support such as data as promised by the Minister of Higher Education. Students whom are poor remain dissolution and further subjected to academic exclusion due to the lack of support by both government and the institution of higher learning. The SRC led by the EFFSC remains the most student centers SRC, which aim to address the inequalities that resulted from the historical background, where black students were regarded as inferior, while white students regarded as superior. Therefore, the SRC led by EFFSC will never allow financial, exclusion, financially and academic exclusion next year, given the fact that both government and the institution of higher learning did not provide necessary support to students. As the SRC, we congratulate the Deben University of Technology for having made it to top five in the rankings. However, that credit does not give any benefit to students' life. Thus far, majority of the University of Technology graduates are unemployed. The university has not invested more in improving the lives of students. Speaking in front of you, many DUT students do not have in-service training. The institution has literally compromised students for, for having failed to build concrete relationship with corporate sectors that could possibly absorb many black students. The institution has also introduced the Advanced Diploma Program, knowingly that there would be no financial support and, and source of funding for such program. Advanced Diploma students are subjected to financial exclusion, not accommodated, yet DUT prides itself with core values such as integrity and honesty. Where is integrity in this case? See whom can Owen Gamela Bafon, Sikata Zegi, Lingabazal Betu, Abangono Kata, and you know Mama Betu, 
abasebenza ngokungezenhlanze sifi isifiso sethu si umkhandlu ongenayo ukuthi sibabone beqashwa isikhungo behola iholo ehlonphekile elilingana nomsebenzi abawenza si umkhandlu sizibonele ngawo wethu futhi sikhathazekile ukuthi onogada abasebenza ngaphansi kwenkulu incindisi ngaphezu kwakho konke abanazo izinsi zakusebenza lokho kufakazelwa ukudutshulwa umfundi umlungisi madonzela owabulawa nogada ongakaza boshwa nanamuhle ukugwazwa kwemfundi egunjini lokufundela esteve bigo campus ngaphansi kwenkampani excellent usandile ndlovu esiyibona ingenamehluko kulenkampani ekhona njengamanje lezi nkampani zonogada zihleze zicekela isithunzi sesikole phansi ngokungenzi okufanelekile kodwa uma umkhandlu uveza izindlela zokuthi inyuvesi nizimele ngokwe security inyuvesi ayisiphi indlebe sibonile futhi ukuthi ikomiti elakhethwa kulandela ukushona kwamlungisi madonzela nalo liphinde laqhuguzele ukuthi inyuvesi iziqashele onogada bayo kodwa kubukeka sengathi lokho kushawa indif The SRC led by the EFFSC is bold in calling for justice from Louis Matonse. Our heart is bleeding after we have seen that no one is willing to take responsibility for killing Matonse. The SRC led by the EFFSC will continue with the fight until the justice is served. The university have declared 5 February as the day of commemoration and remembering Louis Matonse. Thus, the SRC will make sure that the university observes this day accordingly. The SRC led by the EFFSC have been told that the institution is urged to arrest students who participated in the incident of 5 February 2019. The SRC view this as a direct attack to the student and the EFFSC as a whole. The SRC led by the EFFSC will too closely end recommendation made by the Mchiane Commission with an aim to make sure that the university is not selective in application of recommendation. The renaming of buildings, including the student center, will be the program of the SRC. The SRC led by the EFFSC is pleading to the university to attend the staff member who was injured during the incident. She was injured while performing her duty, hence all labor act should be followed. Deben University of Technology largely dominated by Indians based on historical background. The SRC agreed and noted the progress on transformation especially on executive and strategic positions such as head of departments including CFO. It must be noted that the SRC led by the EFFSC will not agree with the transformation that goes with nepotism and favoritism where the institution is governed by the group of friends who closes the space for other talents women and young people should be included in the strategic position the transformation should not be only limited to position however it must be extended to the academic side of the institution the syllabus must be transformed in a fact that the SRC led by the EFFSC will be advocating for decolonization of the curriculum. Deben University of Technology has been engaging on an infrastructure development project where new structures of the university are introduced, including renovation of old buildings and DUT-owned residences. However, the SRC led by the EFFSC is very disappointed to hear that such project goes with a bigger scale of corruption the SRC led by the EFFSC is very bold in opposing and crushing the corruption whenever it raises its ugly head the end vision 2020 of Deben University of Technology should not be the only document based program where we only read about it however implementation is the most important part of it Deben University of Technology have adopted a culture of adopting a program with no implementation plans we are speaking today after two years the Baltimore and Hatchin court 
have never been renovated as agreed on the different meet on the different meetings. If commitment and transparent as stipulated in Envision 2020 core values is practiced perfectly, all this project would have been completely done. The SRC led by the EFFSC find it difficult to understand that the institution is not able to give students academic records and results due to the fact that they are owing the institution. Those who, who have completed the qualification are subjected to blacklisting, yet the institution is not able to give them qualification. The SRC will consult the legal personnel to check the legal implica implications. The university should be able to provide other services such as printing, copying and binding for free. The SRC have noted the paralyzation of Department of Housing by those who have been occupying the position of authority for the past years. The department remains untransformed. The services are provided to racial groups. Most of the residences are owned by few Indians who have developed arrogance and neglected students. Today, we have residences that have no Wi-Fi as a basic service for a student living in residence. Yet, the housing department is not able to respond such because, some, because of some other reasons. One may ask why SRC have an interest on who provides service. The, the student remains the only stakeholders that pays and contributes the amount for service in front of fees, while other stakeholders are receiving an amount in a form of remuneration and reward. Hence, we cannot continue to feed the few racial groups and individuals who want to take an advantage of authority. In conclusion, the SRC led by the EFFSC will work with all those who have interest of growing the African students and isolate all elements that seemingly to be regressive. It is obvious fact that the EFFSC continues to enjoy the hegemony in the institution. The SRC will, will establish the relationship with all stakeholders outside of DUG. We must remind each other that development of DUG community remains the most program that we must all embark on. We, we will continue to where we where the previous SRC has left. I thank you, Amanda. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and privilege for me to present to you our 2020-2021 Student Representative Council at DUT. The president will be Mr. Zabelo Ntuli, the deputy president, Mr. Silindoku Le Njalele, General Secretary, Mr. Njabulo Nchaba, the Deputy Secretary General, Ms. Abongiwe Majikija, and the Treasurer will be Ms. Lengiwe Sibia. Our Projects Officer will be Mr. Sifundo Mkize. From our Midlands Campus, the Projects Officer will be Mr. Awonke Kufa. Education and Transformation, Mr. Kayale Tuyame and the, his counterpart from Marisbeck campuses will be Mr. Lindoku Le Sibisi, Social Welfare Officer, Ms. Nokwanda Mguni, Social Welfare Officer from the Midlands campus, Ms. Kanyisile Kuzoyo. Our sports and recreation from the Devon campuses will be Mr. Senzo Nzimande, and his counterpart from the Midlands campus will be Mr. Mzomuthe Ngobo. And finally, our organization and accommodation officer will be Mr. Sibusi Sobtelezi Ushenge from the Devon campuses. And his counterpart for the Midlands campuses will be Mr. Musawenkosi Mbambo. May I now invite the SRC President, Mr. Zabelo Ntuli, to lead his team in reading the SRC pledge, whereafter each SRC member will be expected to sign the pledge. Over to you, Sombisi. 
we, the students of the Durban University of Technology, are cognizant of our diversity and the consequent need for unity as a student community. Further, we affirm our belief in the principles of democracy, non-sexism, non-racialism, non-tribalism, equity, freedom, and elimination of xenophobia as stipulated in the Bill of Rights of the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa, Act No. 108 of 1996. We pledge our commitment to remedying the divisions of the past by establishing a student community embracing the following values. Tolerant acceptance of diversity, including that of sexual orientation and physical ability. Integrity, non-violence, academic uh, freedom, cooperative governance, rejection of unfair discrimination non-racism and non-sexism Ubuntu we acknowledge that the leadership is not a path to privilege it is a responsibility it is not a assertion of of control over others we must have the sincere desire to serve we promise to establish a sense of trust and win the confidence of our fellow students and the university community. We will deliver what we promised without compromising and with pride and loyalty and excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, now that we've come to the end of this virtual ceremony, it gives me great pleasure to pass a vote of thanks. And a special vote of thanks goes to our Vice Chancellor and Principal for his message of support, but most importantly, for reminding us of what DUT is all about. May I also pass a vote of thanks to the outgoing President, Mr. Jabulo Sangweni, for sharing his experiences during his term of office, but most importantly, for also virtually handing over the baton to the incoming SRC president, Mr. Zabelo Ntuli. Thank you very much, Ngwani. And to the, SR, to the newly elected SRC president, I would like to wish you a very successful term of office together with your team. And as we usher you into your term of office, we would like to remind you of what DUT stands for. You are not representing your own jacket, but you are representing well over 30,000 students. And we would like to urge you to leave the values and principles as enshrined in our Envision 2030 in resonance with the DOT motto of achieving greatness together. May I also thank the team that worked behind the scenes, led by our manager, Student Governance and Development, Mr. Masisa Ngulu, for <clears throat> this innovative online elections that has culminated into today's occasion. May I say to the team, keep it up. Thank you very much. May you have a pleasant day, Feather, ladies and gentlemen. Moses.